So I think it only makes sense to start with this year's Winter Village set, which is actually just tucked behind this Daily Bugle here, which I'll, uh, yeah, don't mind that. Um, there's a video about this set coming soon from me, so uh, I'll say no more for now. But there it is, the Alpine Lodge, this year's Winter Village set, and I think this makes sense. Start off the new year with the new set. Oh, and I also got this Buzz Lightyear spaceship thingy, what was it called, the XL15 spaceship. This had a retail price of £45, I think it might be retiring. But, as you can see, it's a damaged box. I managed to get this for £25, which is, you know, I'm very happy paying £25 for this. I was kind of on the fence about it. I wouldn't pay £45. £25, I think, is a good thing. But, hey, comes a nice little display stand as well. So, yeah, not too bad. So, here's a better look at the box of the Alpine Lodge. It looks very nice indeed. And but I remember hearing rumours about this set, thinking it's going to be like some sort of bed and breakfast, B&B sort of thing. This wasn't the design I expected it to be, but I quite like it. And that little ice rink as well. It's different, but yeah, it's good. And these new dark green trees, oh yes. But of course, the best thing about it has to be Shrek's outhouse. And then on the back of the box, we see some more interior details and little scenes going on. And they really did use all the space to fit as many beds in there as possible. But as good as this is, I think I might want to get another one of this set in the future and like do a double up complete version or something but i'll save that for another day today we're just going to focus on the main builds and this set measures 24 centimeters wide and 21 centimeters tall all right i mean this box could have been half the size look at it the bags don't even go all the way up not even close and the instruction booklet is just one booklet but it wasn't protected luckily this one wasn't bent or creased i normally like it when they come in like the envelope or the plastic packaging just to stop it from creasing, but I guess I got lucky this time. Even the sticker sheet wasn't protected, it was just loose down there. That's not good. So we get two instruction booklets, one for the main lodge itself, and then one for all the little smaller builds. One very tiny sticker sheet, and I was kind of surprised, thinking, wow, look at that, there's not very many stickers in there at all. And we've got ten bags, but unlike sometimes where you get multiple bag ones or multiple bag twos, there's only one of each, so there are ten bags in total. So I think this could be a quick build, really. So I think I'm going to start off with this smaller instruction booklet. So what are we going to build first? And oh, opening inside, it tells you about the LEGO VIP program, although it's inside as now, isn't it? It shows you how long ago they made this instruction booklet. <laughs> and of course, telling you about how you can build together as a family. And with bag one, we're going to build the little snowmobile, the outhouse and the Christmas tree. Bag one is complete, we built the outhouse, the little snowmobile, and a Christmas tree, and there's quite a few spare parts. And we got one minifigure so far. On to bag two, where we build the ice rink. And there are a lot of nice parts in this bag, like the dark green trees. That's nice, I like to see that. I bought a few of those extra. These new leaf pieces, it's the first time I've seen those. So great, that nice tree there. And this kind of... Wow, whatever the colour this is, glittery, pearlescent effects, panels, that's really nice. And now the ice skating rink is complete with a little pontoon there and some ice skates that you can rent for the different style of trees. And it was a really nice build. It's essentially like building stuns normally and then you turns out everything's on its side just to give it that little extra depth. And we got one minifigure who's got a hockey stick and a hockey puck and they get an extra hairpiece as well. So I'm about to start on the Alpine Lodge itself with bag number three. Let's go. So with bags three, four, and five, we build the lower portion of the lodge. And then with six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, we finish it off with the roof and the upper floor. So I've finished all the way up to bag number five now. About to start bag six, and the lower portion of the lodge is complete. I really like the interior details and the furniture. It's just so cozy feeling. I do quite like that. Um, there's what it looks like from the front well here we are this is it i'm about to start the last bag bag number 10 to finish off the details but otherwise it's looking pretty good so i've just finished building the alpine lodge but here are all the leftover parts and i'm fairly certain i didn't miss anything out although seeing all those dark brown one by ones you think wow would there be that many spares but yeah they were Got some other little bits and flower decorations, some transparent pieces, tiles, wedge plates, a couple of prints there, and then some minifigure accessories. Although the coolest one has to be the grey pen, 
I think that's a new colour. We don't get enough of those, so I'm glad there's a spare. Same with the little mug. That's very nice. And then here's a better look at the minifigures. I think it's a decent amount. You get spare hats and things. If they go out in the cold, they can stay warm. But yeah, everything is complete. And this feels like a proper Winter Village set. I really enjoyed putting this together. It's just so good. And lots of animals included as well. So you've got a cat, a squirrel, a little red bird there. And then looking on the inside, it's so nice. And the tree you build in like one of the first steps is actually the tree to go inside. So you can have a little storytelling of chopping down the tree, bringing it inside, then decorating it. And it just looks so cozy. And of course, it's got the light brick. So it lights up the fire down there and this smaller little one upstairs as well. And you do that just by, and you activate that just by pushing down on the chimney, just like that. There was lots of interior details and furniture and things, although I think I would have rearranged things slightly if I was designing this, just especially the upstairs with the bed layout. I don't know, kind of like it works, you know, it has the maximum headroom up there, but I would probably reconfigure things slightly. And there's a present up on top and another one down there. And inside this one, it's just a pair of binoculars with the candles. So yeah, this is a really nice cozy vibe, the little check-in desk down there. Yeah, I really do quite like this. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.